During an interview at a Catholic Orthodox church with Father John, an unusual event occurred. As Father John began sharing his story, strange banging noises started echoing from within the church. Given that the building was supposed to be empty, the source of the noise was a mystery. Hmm, where's that coming from? Maybe it's woodpeckers. It's either that or the demons. They love to interrupt. And you know what demons really hate? Is that when you laugh at them, and you don't take them seriously, and you just say, oh, it's just you. It's, it's just you, Goofy, trying to interrupt the telling of uh, one of the greatest stories and parables ever told. Father John attempted to brush it off with humor, joking that it might be demons, but the sounds only grew louder and more persistent. He played along, mocking the idea of demonic interference, even pretending to chase them away. But what if it wasn't just a joke? Well, maybe I'll chase off the demons. I'll be right back. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey, be gone. <laughs> be gone. <laughs> and don't disturb us anymore. All right, the peace of the Lord. Could there really be something sinister lurking within the church walls, angered by the priest's dismissal? If demons truly despise being mocked, did Father John's laughter provoke something unseen? And what exactly was causing those ominous bangs in an empty church? Could it be more than just coincidence? Or the demons. They love to interrupt. And you know what demons really hate? Is that when you laugh at them, you don't take them seriously, and you just say, oh, it's just you. It's, it's just you, Goofy. In 2018, a mysterious pyramid-shaped object was reported floating and rotating over the Pentagon, with similar sightings occurring over the Pyramid of Giza and the Kremlin. Various angles and footage of the Pyramid UFO over Washington, D.C., were recorded by multiple witnesses. Despite the substantial number of sightings and the significant public interest, the event was downplayed and quickly forgotten. As you can see, this is the same pyramid except it's over the Kremlin in Russia a little later. This was seen by a lot of people. Now guys, the first pyramid I showed you that was over the Pentagon was also seen by several people. Man, there's so many different versions of the footage. Check this out. This is another angle and another shot from another bystander that actually recorded this pyramid UFO that was over Washington, D.C. and over the Pentagon. And not only that, this is more from another, ve from another vehicle. And as you can see, this is a clearer, more clear, and it's different footage. Man, they said that there were people that actually believed that there was an alien invasion when this was taking place. Look, this was swept under the rug and no longer talked about, just like every other UFO appearance. There were multiple, multiple UFOs. This is seriously intriguing. The idea of a pyramid-shaped UFO appearing over such iconic locations is hard to ignore. Is there a pattern to these sightings or are they just isolated incidents? Why are these events often dismissed or swept under the rug despite multiple witnesses and footage? Could these pyramids be more than just strange coincidences possibly linked to ancient symbols or advanced technology? What do you think? Are we seeing evidence of something truly otherworldly? Or is there another explanation for these recurring pyramid sightings? The excitement and disbelief are evident as they continue to suggest that what they are seeing might indeed be an alien spacecraft. Man, that kind of look like a spaceship in them clouds. That might just be a spaceship in them clouds. That probably is a spaceship in them clouds. The reaction is a mix of awe and astonishment, emphasizing how extraordinary the sight is. What if what this person saw in those clouds isn't just a figment of their imagination? Their repeated astonishment and the sheer excitement suggest something truly bizarre? 
Could it be that we're looking at something beyond our usual understanding? Maybe even a spaceship? Could this be a genuine glimpse of extraterrestrial technology? Or is there another explanation we haven't considered? What do you think? While filming an unidentified phenomenon, a man captures something astonishing in the sky, reacting with shock and excitement. All right. Whoa, look at those guys. What in the fuck? Oh my God. Holy shit, dude! Oh my god! Dude, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Dude. As he scrambles to get a better shot, his main camera runs out of batteries, leaving him frustrated. Alright. Holy shit, dude. All right. We're getting the other camera. Hold on one second. Holy shit. All right. Fuck. All right, we're going to try and place this on the thingamabobber here. All right. All right, I'm going to set that down. This thing's dead. You gotta be kidding me, dude. What in the fuck? Seriously? This thing's out of batteries. You gotta be shitting me right now. What in the fuck? Well, he attempts to capture the event using an infrared camera, but struggles with focus. And this infrared, I can't quite get it. There's a train going by there. I can't get it. Like. Could these mysterious, invisible objects be evidence of something extraordinary happening right above us, hidden in plain sight? But these, dude, these things are just sitting here right now. And they look brighter because of the infrared, but if I could get my other camera to work, uh, I might actually get something really sick. Okay, I'm going to charge that other thing. Alright, I'm going to do one more. Two. Three. Alright, I signaled it. Let's see what we get. What are these entities that only show up on infrared? And why did his camera conveniently lose power at the crucial moment? That was sick, what we got earlier. Okay, I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna try and get the other camera working. <laughs> Whatever happened a minute ago was fucking incredible. I've never seen some shit like that. Like, I never got it to pop off like that. <laughs> 